Kayla here. You might be wondering, Kayla, why are you wearing a tie-dye shirt? Because I'm about to be a camp counselor for two months. Yes, you heard me right. I'm going to be a camp counselor for two months in the middle of nowhere. Have no fear because I am pre-filming quite a few videos and hopefully be gonna be able to edit and get them up still while I'm at camp. They might not be on Fridays like I've been posting. They might be different days of the week, but I will hopefully get a video up every week or almost every week for the next about two months when I'm at camp. I went to this camp as a camper and it is one of my favorite places in the entire world. It's your very stereotypical summer camp. Lots of hiking, lots of games, archery, canoeing, arts and crafts. This video is what I'm packing with me to go to camp and this may be helpful if you're going to summer camp yourself or if you're going to be a summer camp counselor or if you're just going camping what kind of clothes you need and what kind of things you need to bring with you to be ultimately prepared. First off here are all the bags that I'm taking with me to camp. We've got a duffel bag, a backpack, a big suitcase, and a smaller size suitcase. We start off inside the bigger suitcase, and in there we put my sleeping bag. Then I have a set of fitted sheets because I don't like sleeping in my sleeping bag when I'm sleeping in the cabins. Next we've got a few beach towels for when we go to the pool or field trips to the beach. Next we have two shower towels. I've got two small hand towels and two washcloths. Next we have my favorite blanket that's also going to be for sleeping in the cabin so I don't have to sleep all stuck inside of my sleeping bag. And on top we've got my pillow and that's it for this half of the big suitcase. Now we have the upper half of the big suitcase. First I'm just putting in a pile of blue jean shorts because that's mostly what I wear during the days at camp. Then I'm just putting in a few pair of jeans for days when it's colder or for during the nights when it's cold outside and a pair of sweats and a few pair of, of the leggings. Next I'm putting in all the t-shirts that I wear at camp, tie-dye shirts, just kind of everyday shirts that I don't really care if they get too dirty or messed up, a long sleeve because that's important when it gets cold at night. I try to bring a lot so I don't have to do laundry that much because it's kind of difficult at camp. I have a pile of v-necks too if I need something nicer and a pile of tank tops for when it's really hot and I add in just a few last t-shirts there in that pile. Next I'm adding a few pairs of running shorts because those are also really good to wear around camp if it's kind of hotter or for around the pool and then just a few kind of soft comfy pair of shorts for around the cabin or for sleeping in. I'm putting in a pile of sports bras because I'm doing a lot of active stuff at camp, so those are better than wearing normal bras. Of course, underwear. And that's it for this half of the big suitcase. I might add a pair of shoes or something just shoved in. Now on to the smaller of my suitcases. First off, in this top compartment, I'm putting a few pairs of long socks and of course my rainbow colored leg warmers because they're amazing. Next, I've got to have some pairs of fuzzy socks, definitely necessary on the cold nights or the overnights. And of course, I have to have my pairs of Shea Carl socks because those are my favorite. Here we've got my beanie and another kind of head wrap warm thing, I don't know, it covers your ears, and a pair of gloves for when it's cold or for late nights out at camp. My very cute one-piece swimsuit because I have to have a one-piece for being a camp counselor. Next I'm putting in my two scarves, my American flag scarf, and then my stitch scarf which is so cute and adorable and I love. And finally we're adding a bunch of paired socks because that's definitely necessary for camp. And then we're probably going to add even more because you can never have enough socks at camp. And that's all that's going in this upper section. Now for the bottom section of the smaller suitcase. First off, we're putting in all my sweatshirts and we're rolling them up because that takes up less room. So I have two hooded sweatshirts. I've got my North Face rain jacket in that little container thing. I don't know what that is. Two flannels because those are good uh, when it starts to get a little cold in the evening to just throw on over whatever I'm wearing to keep warm. And just a plain little zip up sweatshirt. Those are pretty much all the clothes that I'm bringing to camp. 
And now on to some important and necessary items for camp. First off, I'm putting in some baby wipes, which will save your life at camp because you're not going to be able to shower every day. So baby wipes are good for wiping your feet off or just wiping any other dirt off. This next thing is definitely one of the most important things for camp, and that is sunscreen and some more sunscreen and even more sunscreen. And also bug spray, but I haven't gotten that yet. I put all the sunscreen into a big plastic bag because it's much easier to pack random assorted things if they're all in a plastic bag. And then I have a random assorted bag, there's some bandanas in there, a flower crown, a tiara, some 4th of July beads, just kind of random assorted accessories that would be good for camp. Then I've got note cards, some playing cards, and a bunch of hair ties and headbands. Next, I've got a bag of a bunch of pens, some notepads, some washi tape, just some random other things. Next, I've got a box of Tide Pods and dryer sheets to do laundry at camp. I've got a glasses case with just a few sunglasses. And of course, pads, because if you're a girl, you know periods are a thing. The next thing is a fanny pack, because fanny packs are cool at camp. I've got a few of my favorite hats. Gotta get the sun out of my face. And a candle because we have kind of night talking thing activities. I can't really explain that and I need candles for that. And of course my knee brace because my knee is broken. I have a bag filled with random toiletry things, a Febreze, earplugs, deodorant, more hand sanitizer, some things for blisters, and ear swabs. And then I've got a toothbrush holder to bring my toothbrush and my toothpaste from my cabin to the bathroom just makes it a lot easier. Those are all the things that I'm packing in this suitcase, so this one is good to go. This duffel mostly just has all the clothes that I'm wearing when I'm at my friend's house before I go to camp, so this is just really basic. I don't need to go through all of that. That's just normal vacation clothes. Now on to the shoes that I'm bringing. First I have my pair of combat boots because I can wear those hiking or just around camp. I have my gross, dirty pair of white Keds that I don't care if they get messed up, so I'm bringing that. And I've got a pair of running shoes, and I'm gonna get another pair of tennis shoes that are just sturdier, and that can get dirty and trashed at camp, and I won't really care about them, because I wanna keep those running shoes nice, but I figured I'd still bring them. And then I've got my favorite pair of sandals and a pair of shower shoes. Last but certainly not least is my backpack, which is very important for camp. I'm also just bringing a little drawstring backpack just in case maybe one of my campers needs a backpack and doesn't bring one, or just to have around as an extra. This backpack is really good for camp because it has a bunch of different compartments. I think it's actually a camera bag, but it has really good straps and a bunch of different pockets, so I'm borrowing it from my grandma to use. I've got my watch strapped onto my backpack because we don't have any technology at camp, so I have to have a watch. I've got this other strap on the side to hook my water bottle into just because it's easier to get to than having to open my backpack every time I need water. And then onto the top compartment of the backpack. I'm putting a pack of baby wipes into my backpack so if I need them when I'm not in my cabin I have them right there. And then I just have a travel size pack of tissues in that compartment too. The next thing for this compartment is my glasses. So in this glasses case, I've got a pair of sunglasses and I've got my glasses because I'm gonna need both of those. And for now, that's all that's going in this section of the backpack. I'll probably add more once I get to camp and see what I need, but for now, that's what I've got in there. In the bottom compartment, I'm putting a sweatshirt. It's probably where I'll just keep extra clothes or anything like that that I'll need for the day when we're around camp. Now in this front section, I'm just gonna put things that I need to have on me kind of all the time, have easy access to. So I have a bunch of little nail files because I always break my nails and I don't want to have a nail broken all day and not be able to fix it. Some hand sanitizer to clean my hands, obviously. Uh, EOS lip balm, EOS lotion, uh, an extra carabiner clip um, if I need to hook anything on my backpack or if one of my campers needs one, and of course my inhaler so I can breathe. And that's it for this small section of my backpack, and that's it for my entire backpack. Those are all the things that I'm packing with me to head to camp. I know this video is kind of longer, 
But if you're sticking around, that means a lot to me. Please give this video a big thumbs up for summer camp and fun because I'm excited. Leave any comments down below if you're going to summer camp this summer or what you're doing instead if you're not going to camp. Please subscribe to my channel, it means a lot to me. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you next time. Bye. Two.